Hello guys, welcome to this channel. Now in this tutorial, we are going to talk about styles and outlines. How to one apply styles, how to create styles, and how to use outline. Now what is style? Styles are the combination or multiples of these formatting. So when these tools have been applied together, um, to perform a specific function, that is what you call it a star. So when you click on this, now when you go to the home tab, there are, these are all stars here. So when you click on this drop down menu or drop down button, you see you have a lot of stars here. Now each star contains a different format, different format. So let's highlight this entire document, what you have here. Now let's apply some of the stars and see. So that is the first one, how to apply styles. So you click on the first one, then let's apply the first one. So you can see now with this style, there's no bold, there's no italic, there's no underline. The font st style is what? Sentry. Okay, now let's go for the second one and see. Now what? Bold activated. So it means this style, whenever you apply this style, all are going to turn into uppercase and bold. Now, the third one, you see there's no bold and the size is 11. So as you can see, now this has even a font color as well. And the same thing applies to this in that order. So you can see this has the bold and italic together. And it has the font style of the century and the size of 12. This has 11 and this is 12. And also, as you can see, it's header 1, header 2, header 3, header 4, header 5, header 6, header 7. Now, as you see, check for header 8, check header 7, header 6, header 5, header 4, 3, 2, 1. So, as you can see, okay, so these are the styles that you can choose from. Now, let's say you want to work on a separate document. And these documents, you don't want to be formatting each document, each document, because you don't have enough time. And what you're doing, the document that you're creating is so many. So you can't be formatting just one after the other. If that happens, you can just create a style here. Now, as soon as you finish creating a document, you highlight it, then you apply that style. Now, when you apply that style, the following tools used under formatting is going to take effect. So you may have one star, but going to apply for numerous documents being created. Now, aside from having these stars here, can we create your own style? Yes, we can. Now, in order to create your own style, now you have to go to um, in other versions. When you click on the drop drop down button, you can just click on the create new style, or just find for styles pane find for styles pin that is under the home tab now click on the file uh, the style pin now click on new style now this new style what is the name of the style that you want to create now so let's say formatting style one formatting style one now where do you want it to apply is it paragraph or all characters or tables or list or paragraph and uh, characters now i want only paragraph okay so now the style is based on so if you want to just refer or make a reference to any type here you can still use it here as well okay so and um, so now when it comes to this side this is a preview of the test so do you want this is center do you want left align left now um the size let's make it 16 and um let's see the color to it could be this as well then can we shift it some more okay all right so add this to quick style list now let's say we are done creating this list this style so add this to the style list we're going to add it here after that let's click on the okay now when done but I remember the style's name, that is the formatting style one. So click on this drop down, that's under the style, this drop down button. Let's see whether we can have um, the formatting style one. Good, that is the formatting style one. 
So as soon as you just let's highlight this document and let's apply the style and see. So now you see now it changes the whole style to the one that we uh, we set or we created. So that is a way to also create your own style after if you don't want to just use the ones already created. Okay, now the other one is the use outline. Now what is outline? Outline when you open books, you could see when you go to the content. Now each content has subs, subs content. Now with the sub content, let's see. so let's have an example and see. For instance, we are talking about Microsoft um, Office course. So you want to that's a Microsoft Office course. So with the Microsoft Office course. We have, so first of all, let's cut this. Now this is one, right? So that's one and we have this Microsoft Office course. Now the Microsoft Office course, you see A, we have MS Word 2, we have MS um, Excel, now three we have MS PowerPoint. Okay, so let's read this three. This three only. Now under this you can see under this we have each topic under under each. There are a lot of our topics in. So now the topic click on this side. Now hit on the tab key. Now you can see so tab key under MS Office. MS where you see we have um could be we have styles. So let's say we have, um, let's use the ribbons too. We have file, uh, we have home, we have uh, insert. Okay, so let's pay this, this okay. Now when it comes to the Excel too, we also have formula and um, we have a uh, sheet and let's add one. We also have features as well. Okay, now when it comes to the uh, this, the C, that is a PowerPoint. Hit the tab key. Now, under these two, we have could be content, we have transition, transition, and we have. Um, what again do you have that transition content transition we also have uh, let's add slides okay so now when it comes to when it comes to the file you see the file you just hit on the tab key like you see under the file we have save we have save us and we have open. Now when it comes to the home, when it comes to home tab, you see we have click on the tab key. Now we have um, font, we have paragraph. And you could see, it could, it could, maybe we have, um, that's a clipboard as well. Okay, now when it comes to the insert, click on the tab. Now you said you have table, we have pictures or picture, and we have movie as well. So as you see, and uh, let's go to this formula. And our formula two, we have average, we have sum, we have minimum. Okay, and uh, last the sheet tab key. Okay, so we have cell, and we have. Uh, so reference. Okay, so as you see now, check 
the how the line or the how the format is you can see now it looks slow now from one it goes to the a now see how it goes okay now with this with the save to you can still have this you can still have save and that so that is the outline you can see because it tells us that each is a sub to one another now there's a main topic that's a microsoft office course another this course there's this ms word and at this ms word there's a file and at this file there's save and there may be under save there could be another one and aside from this there could also be another one so this is subordinate of that in that order so that's the outline so anytime you want to create an outline you just use to press the tab so just start the first thing it could be if you want to start from a just if you want to start from a just type in the a and full stop then hit on the space bar one now type in what you want to do you want to type it okay so you type what you want to type after that hit the enter key now when you hit the enter key it moves to b but you want um a sub to a so hit on the tab key find a tab key on your keyboard and hit on the tab key one now as soon as you hit on the tab key it goes to this now you have some right now with the sum tool, when you hit on the space bar, it's going to give you a next one. But we don't want that. We want the next test to be sub to next. So hit on the tab key. Now okay, so when you hit on the tab key, you could have it could be um addition um okay and, and the rest. So addition, if you want to have an a sub under addition, hit on the uh, enter key. Now you don't want the number two, but you rather want a sub, so hit on the tab key. So we see that have you seen the the format the pattern it slopes so it means the formula formula here sum is subordinate to formula addition is subordinate to what sum now this could be also be um sub okay now sub is also and then subordinate to the addition so that is how to create outline so in case you're just doing a slide or just doing a book or a sheet or a story and you want to just create the outline that is where to do it. You just need the enter key and the tab key to do that. The enter key and the tab key. The tab key is moved to shift, okay, and to generate a, um, a bullet according to where it's supposed to be. All right, so that is a way to create, apply style, create a new style, and apply the new style, and now use outline. Okay, so now you've talked about these three things. So you've talked about these things, okay. So that is the end for today's lesson and thank you guys for watching and hopefully to see you in the next video. But don't forget to subscribe and also to comment when you have any, any issue as well.